in this video something about my new project to make a, a say a shortwave receiver that must be as simple as possible. That was my idea. Uh, so perhaps to say uh, give a kind of enthusiasm for everyone uh, liking the shortwave radio reception. This is by the way the antenna coil and I've made it many times in the past. Here a toilet roll, here you see all the windings of that uh, wire, good quality copper wire. Uh, the diameter with the uh, plastic insulation is approximately one millimeter. There are six windings here and six windings there, a tap in the middle and at the moment I have connected here this indoor antenna. It goes here, here and here and I have by purpose not, this is the indoor antenna, approximately four cent, not centimeters, four meters of um, simple copper wire. Plastic insulated, nothing more about that. It's extremely simple and it also has a certain reason why I've used this. The reason is that uh, there are no, there are say in a certain way, uh, capacitances and inductances of that 4 meter that's hanging out inside that can be predicted. When you have an outdoor antenna via a coax cable, etc., etc., uh, that can surely also work good. Um, anyway, no problems with that. And when you are a radio amateur, you surely know everything about that. Say, using balloons, uh, going to a certain frequency bands where radio amateurs are active, but my aim is always, say, to make uh, radio circuits that with which you can uh, receive broadcast stations in Europe or whatever. And then between, say, 4 megahertz and approximately 12 megahertz. And in fact, uh, sorry to say that I don't know exactly where this coil is tuned to. Uh, uh, on the basis of my experience, it is around 6 mega cycles up to approximately 10 mega cycles. But anyway, I've used here also, also a uh, small oscillator made with a field effect transistor, and that field effect transistor is the BF245A. Here there is a Ferrite rod. I will tell more about it. I will. I have tried to make this radio as simple as possible, uh, though this is only the first uh, video, and I'm absolutely sure there will be more uh, adaptations. Anyway, uh, I've used here a 15, sorry, 0 to 50 picofarad trimmer. I've made a kind of a handle here so that it can move, so that you can change the in uh, sorry the capacitance between say fi 5 picofarad and approximately 50 picofarad. Here exactly the same. Here is the so here you can tune the antenna coil connected to that four meter long wire uh, inside my room. Uh, don't when you want to re, uh, reproduce this circuit, don't use an outdoor antenna, but only an inner antenna of approximately 2 meters or 4 meters, pure wire, etc. And here is the oscillator. Uh, that is in fact the local oscillator with which you can tune uh, to certain radio frequencies. And uh, this is a very, very basic 
superheterodyne radio. Uh, audio output is here and there was an earlier video about that audio output. Here is the IF stage on 455 kilo cycles here and it's only made with this very very simple ceramic filter so you, you don't need a coil or whatever and then here, here there is a a one transistor amplifier that amplifies to its maximum uh, BC547 and I will give the schematic in the future a BC547 B uh, amplification approximately 300 times and then out of the collector there is here via this white wire a connection to the input potentiometer of the um, transistor stage and that transistor stage drives the LM386 chip amplifier. So perhaps I don't have a lot of time so I want to keep this demo as short as possible. It's only a first experiment to make a very simple shortwave radio and of course when you change the local oscillator frequency you can get to other other shortwave reception frequencies but the antenna call does not have to be changed it is this antenna call is say a kind of ideal Uh, antenna coil for shortwave between approximately 2 or 3 megahertz up to approximately 12 megahertz. Anyway, it's now 19.50 in the Netherlands, it's dark, it's an evening and uh, during the evening there is uh, often better propagation uh, over all of shortwave radio signals, etc. etc. So I put down the camera. That's all I want to do now. Uh, perhaps my camera will stop suddenly. Sorry for that. If that happens, I'm not sure whether I can say uh, cure that, that problem. It was also in an earlier video anyway. Here is that radio now. Let's listen and look etc etc. Uh, well, uh, at first important to tell there are two potentiometers here and they can be set. This first potentiometer here sets the high frequency amplification the second potential meter sets the low frequency amplification. I have to lift up it now somewhat. You can hear the noise, that's logical. And here is the here is the 50 picofarad uh, tuning capacitor that tunes the uh, local oscillator. So here there is a kind of there is a radio station. Now I tune the antenna call by the way. A lot of noise. So let's limit the uh, audio amplification somewhat. Somewhat. That's what I thought. And it's very important to tell that now here is the uh, local oscillator coil and there is a ferrite rod inside. So I take it out, that means that we go to higher frequencies. Let's listen. Thank you. 
Tuning again. But perhaps it's interesting to uh, tell that, of course, when we change the inductance here in that in that radio uh, VFO radio coil, local oscillator, we can get to all kinds of shortwave stations. And it is a very, very precise. You can hear it now. My camera still runs, that's, that's nice. So you can tune in. You can tune in the antenna call. Radio China. But when I take the, the ferrite effect, uh, has everything to do with changing the frequency of the local oscillator. And you can also see that it is extremely precise. So, anyway, I found uh, an American, uh, as far as I could see, an American radio station during, uh, say, 15 minutes or so, and it disappeared. And that has, of course, everything to do with the so-called um, propagation conditions. I'm living in the Netherlands, and well, that means that there is all, there are always certain propagation conditions where shortwave radio stations don't transmit or uh, transmit, though their uh, radio uh, signal fades, etc. Etc. So try again. So this is one radio station. Take the ferret rod somewhat out. Take the ferrite rod more out. This must be Radio China. Take the ferrite rod more out. And well, this this also say explains why sometimes or not uh, you need say. Uh, Right, you prepared a message so you could uh, talk about Brother Kevin. Tune I in. I do that. I tell you how I do. When I wake up in the morning, I present myself to God. I don't say, well, good morning, Lord. This is, I'm going to preach about the church in the world today. That's not what I do. This is a very strong radio station. I think from America, etc., etc. My camera will stop within a few minutes, etc., etc. Well, this was more or less all to tell, and I will uh, surely publish the schematic within a few days, perhaps a week or two weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.
strong in the Lord. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.